In this particular lecture, let's learn about React Router. But even before learning about React Router, let's first understand what a routing is and why it is actually required. So if you take an example of any website, so I've taken an example of Wikipedia here. So if you go to Wikipedia, you have the homepage which is wikipedia.org and if you want to read English articles, you could click on this particular link right here. And if you go there, as you can see, the URL changes and we are actually served with a new page here. And while going from one page to another, you will see that we are typically refreshing the page and we are sort of loading a new page here. So let me open up another page in Portuguese. And if I do so here, as you can clearly see, the page is being refreshed and we are opening up a new page here. So this is what server side rendering is. So in case of server side rendering, in case of Wikipedia, what happens is when we actually go ahead and click on any one of the links which we have here, we are essentially requesting a new page by making use of this new URL here. So therefore we are making a request to the server that, all right, I want to go ahead and access the main page here. And the server is going to go ahead and read this particular request and then send us back this new page here. So this is what is called as server side rendering. Now React applications are exactly opposite to this. That is they are not server side rendered, but instead they are rendered on the client side itself. So an example of a client side rendering app would be Airbnb. So watch what happens when we go on Airbnb here. So in case of client side rendering, we do not have multiple pages, but we instead have our entire app hosted or listed on a single page itself. So if I now go ahead and click on this amazing pools here, as you can see, the URL over here changed, but this page did not refresh. So let me go back to the home page here. And as you can see, there was no sign of refresh here. Even if I go to farms here, as you can see, new data is being loaded here, but this data is loaded on the same exact page here. And the server is not actually returning a new page for us. Instead, we only have the single page and all of this data, which is being fetched here, Obviously, this data is being fetched from the server, but we are not actually fetching the entire page when we request for a new URL here. So this is what is called as client side rendering in which the pages are rendered on the client side itself. The server does not send us a new page back and such applications are called as single page applications and all the react applications which we have created in this course till now are single page applications when we only had one page over here. But now the question is, how exactly can we go ahead and incorporate multiple pages here in our single page application? Because obviously you don't want your application just to have a single page here. So the main question is, how do you create those multiple pages in your React application and how you are going to route from one page to another? So that's exactly what we are going to learn in the next lecture. So from the next lecture onwards, let's go ahead and let's start learning about a React router, which allows us to have multiple pages in a single page React project. So let's learn about React router in the next one.